Hi guys, Jay Smith here, welcome to our Golf Night channel and welcome to ST Max, Mizuno ST Max, three wood, five wood and seven wood. I've got them in front of me here. Now the Max adds to the range, it doesn't replace anything. And the Max is for someone who wants maximum forgiveness, maximum help getting the golf ball up in the air because everything is maxed out. We'll go into the tech now to show you the differences between uh, this and when it comes to the STZZ. So we've got a wider, larger footprint with a wraparound toe composite. So effectively Mizuno are trying to get the carbon amount wrapped into the bottom of the toe section to try and take away weight. Why? Because that means they've got more discretionary weight to put it in the back section. You've got a bigger, wider Cortex chamber, expanded Cortex chamber that effectively is TPU. And what that does is it's a squishy material which allows the face and sole to flex when you don't quite hit the middle. You have now got a high energy MAS-1C, a miraging steel face for super high ball speeds, but more important durability. A lot manufacturers especially recently have had some of their products faces explode because obviously manufacturers try and push the boundary should we say when it comes to technology to try and get the ball speeds up as quick as possible so Mizuno are opting for a margin steel face to make sure we have the high ball speeds but we do not get any face explosions we've still got the same quick hosel on there the quick fit hosel now one thing I will say guys I've got the three five and seven wood in front of me and I have already whacked these up to as high as they will go let's go get the simulator on let's go see how all of these work into greens and fairways etc and let's go see how they feel and how we get on with the new Max Fairy Woods. Simulator is now on. We're at Potters Park Golf Course Hole 14. It's normally a little bit longer than this, but it's par four and I've shoved the tee up a little bit. So I've got a 231 yard shot into a green. Now we have a bunker in front of the green, so anything short will be gobbled up by that. But then again, going for a green, the whole idea for this is you're getting as close as you possibly can do. And if it goes in the bunker for me, that is a win. But green is the target. So the max in my hand, I've got the three, I've got the five and seven just to test in a sec. The, just the main difference aesthetic wise, it's just it's slightly bigger not by massive amounts you put them down by the golf ball you can see the difference between the max and the zz but it's minimal shall we say and of course you've got the bigger blue missing piece cortex chamber underneath and you've got a blue lipstick line around the back denoting that it is the max right let's go give it a hit target for me is anywhere near the green oh i just turned it too much that has worked ever so well. Just gone too far. Too far left. Path 1.2, 2.2 from the inside. 1.9 close, just slightly too much. Strike was great. 35 yards in the end, 44 degrees descent angle at 240 yards. Yep, now I drew that one. I'm trying to get my path more from the inside as time goes on. At 44 degrees descent angle, that will go into a green should it hit it and it'd be fine. Now it's 19 yards offline, which is a little bit too far offline, I'll be honest. I'm looking at about seven and a half percent. That's possibly close, two, four, five to 19. Again, if you're gonna display a face there, that's basically where this, des this club is designed to send the golf ball. Carbon copy. Me trying to draw it. Well, I'm definitely drawing it. That was a toey strike as well. That would probably add to the help going left. Path 1.2 from the inside, face closing again, and this bit more time, bit more toey, which adds a little bit more to the turn, but a carbon copy, 238 yards. I tell you what, we'll hit a shot now where we don't try and draw it and see if we can get less curvature. Feel-wise, I cannot tell any difference whatsoever uh, between this and the ZZ, ZX, or whichever one it is. They just feel within reason identical. I think I should be aiming right today. But I mean, that's doing well. That really is doing 200, 236 yards. Again, my delivery is going a little bit that way now, but a bit toey, which will try and help it gear opposite way rounds. Again, I'll be doing lots of different uh, face hitting, heels, toes, lows, and all that lot to see how well it truly works. I'm trying to hit relatively middle at the moment, but we'll hit one more before we flick over to the five wood and see how that feels. Again, let's finish with a terrible, terrible, terrible strike. Low heel. And it's, it's on the green. <laughs> Again, that's what you're going to get with the max. You hit something not very good. 
14 mil heel, six mil low. That's what this thing is good at. It's just designed for you to hit it poorly. Again, we'll come to hitting it poorly more later to see how well it works off really bad strikes, but that's poor, that's terrible. And it's hitting target, two yards offline, 2.8 yards offline. That's just very, very good. 34 yards in the air, 44 degrees descent angle. So that's stopping, as you saw, on a green very, very easily. Right, let's go flick over to the five wood. Let's go move the uh, tee a little bit further forward and let's go see how well the five wood works. Right back now with the five wood. I really do like the fact that they now come in a seven wood option. I can't wait to hit the seven to see how that works. I've now moved it to 221 yards. Again, I'm not quite sure how far these are gonna go. Um, the last ones will go in sort of 230, 240. And again, there's only three yards, three yards, three degrees, sorry, of loft difference between all of these heads when you move it from 21 to 18 to 15, or in this case, I've got 23 to 20 and to 17 on the three wood, because I just up the lofts. Again, if you want to go further, just put the loss back down again and off they rock it. Right, let's go give this one a hit, because this looks basically exactly the same as the three, just with a slightly smaller head, but not very much so. Well, that's not bad considering it's not the greatest hit in the world, but as you can see, that is stopping on any green. It's just good. One degree from the inside, 0.7 open. Zero mil toe, eight mil low. There you go, 40 yards in the air and 48 degrees ascent angle. That's what you're gonna get from a five wood. The five wood just gets that golf ball just launching. This is before we go to a seven wood. And this is the thing, as soon as you start losing speed, slower swing speed golfers, having something that launches a golf ball in the air, slightly longer shaft, gets a bit more ball speed because that springy face, you're gonna be winning against your flat faced irons. 3.7 yards offline, 15 feet away from 225. Yep, I'll take that. All day long, I'll take that one. Good, good, good. That's going left, because that I could feel that straight away. I mean, that's, that's going to the moon. As I'm warming up, I need to be moving this uh, tee back a bit, I think. 0.7 from the inside, 0.5 closed. That's why I'm just getting a little bit of tug to it and what's the lie on that 4.4 up. Yeah, so the loft that I'm displaying 24 degrees, that is helping that thing go left. That's why it's turning left, but 39 yards in the air and 46 degrees descent angle. There you go. Like, yes, I, I can't complain with that whatsoever. I mean, part has gone left a little bit. That's me. Um, uh, yeah, 46 degrees descent angle, 39 yards in the air. I could really see myself play five woods instead because when you hit them like that, that is when you want five woods. Like, wowzers. That was <laughs> so bad, like properly. Path was good, face was open, eight mil low, nine mil heel, you could feel it, wasn't good whatsoever. But that's held its line really, really well. 38 yards in the air, 47 degrees descent angle, you saw it, it just stopped. It just stops, right, one more, and then we'll flick over to the seven wood, because again, I, I could really see myself move over from hybrids over to fairway woods, because of just the help what happens when you don't hit the middle, especially on the max. I mean, I've got the max uh, hybrids to do as well, and if they're anything like this, it's just a win, it really is. Right, last one, let's go see how the seven wood then works. That was slightly toey, slightly high toe, but I mean, look at that. Gonna gear down, so yeah, three mil high, nine mil toe, so there's you're gonna be your gearing. Um, path is good, face is not bad whatsoever. 40 yards in the air, 46 degrees descent angle, 225 carry. It's just working like really, really well. Right, let's go over to the seven wood. Let's go see how the seven wood works. This is the one that I'm gonna find if it's gonna work for me in my bag or not. I'm interested in the seven wood, absolutely, because I'm thinking about swapping that one for either my three or four hybrid, depending on how far it goes. Back now with the seven wood in my hands. Again, this is 21 degrees up two degrees to 23. Um, we are moved the old T to 207 yards because this is the thing that I'm thinking about possibly swapping out one of my hybrids. Just on the basis of this is more functional. If this goes up in the air and stops easier and it's a little bit more forgiving when you don't quite hit the middle, then why not? Uh, shafts wise, before anyone asks, I've got this in the RDX Smoke Green Hulk Shaft, six seventy-five grams, and I've got these all matching. Um, yeah, so anyone says about the shaft side of things. 
What a wonderful, terrible strike to start with. I'm really testing out this wonderful, terrible strike idea. Low heel, as low heel as you can really get. Yeah, that weren't middle, but um, <laughs> can't complain, can you? Seven wood, yep. 0.2 from the inside, 0.7 open, 8 mil low, 10 mil toe, as you can see, nowhere near middle, but it's 2.2 uh, yards offline. 41 yards in the air, 49 degrees descent angle. There you go, and that's what you're gonna get with a seven wood, it's just going to work. I, could this go in the bag? My, my four hybrid will not do what this seven wood does. I need to get used to this seven wood a bit more, but it's, yeah, I can't complain at all. Apart from when you tug it left. But that's me, there you go. That's a perfect example of me. Swinging two degrees across my face left. So five mil low, four mil toe, the strike weren't bad whatsoever, but when you look at the dynamics on there, 1.8 across, 0.9 close, I told the golf ball to go left. And that's exactly where it went. 38 yards in the air, 47 degrees descent angle from not a optimum flight from my point of view. It's, it just, it works. It's really quite good. Right, let's just try to do a better job this time. <laughs> so bad on the strike. When you see this one, you'd be quite surprised. I reckon this might actually hit the green. Oh, so close. Look at that. 1.9 across, 1.1 open. Look at that strike, 15 millimeters low, seven millimeters heel. I am really testing out the Cortec chamber there. 33 yards in the air, 45 degrees ascent angle at 208. That is right on the number of my four hybrid. And if I can hit that shot that badly and hit the same as what my hybrid does, this something like this is gonna go in the bag just because I can get away with terrible strikes, like terrible strikes and they just work. Right, one more before we go and hit it all over the face, all of them to see how well they do. Oh, it's just gonna be a fraction left, but I mean, that's fairly good, but still, oh, look at that. Um, seven mil low, seven mil hill, so again, not middle. Path zero, face zero. Uh, 40 yards in the air, 48 degrees ascent angle, 214. So it's going a fraction further when I hit it fairly well. And so what I'm gonna have to think about doing possibly was take some length off the shaft to try and take some clubbed speed off, maybe. Um, I'm maxed out when it comes to loft, but I mean, it's going 40 yards in the air and 48 degrees ascent angle. So if that's going into a green, I mean, that's 10 yards offline. That's not really a miss, that's not like 5%. That's really quite good. Right, let's go hit these, all of them all over the face, and let's just give you a summary of just how well these work when you don't hit the middle. I've got the information on the screen for the Mizuno ST230 fairways, the three wood, the five wood, and the seven wood. We've got the clubhead data on there as well. We'll have a look at that one in a second. So let's have a look at the carry numbers between them. We've got 232 for the three wood, 222 for the five wood, and 211 yards for the seven wood. So there's around about 10 or 11 yards difference between each one when it comes to the gapping. There is three degrees of loft difference between each of these. Remember, you can move them around by quite a lot. I've got the 15, 18, and 21 degree head set to 17, 20, and 23. The maximum they will go to sort of dial them back a little bit and obviously to try and get them as much in peak height descent angles as possible. Uh, but with that amount of movement in the loft sleeve, you can dial these around when it comes to your gapping to your heart's content. Um, but the three was going 36 yards in the air and 43 degrees descent angle. That is on average. Uh, it has got miss hits in there as well. So if you take the miss hits out, we are talking about my normal shots are going in and around 45 degrees. Now in and around 45 degrees is ample and for a three wood you could quite easily get away with 40 degrees or so and so to get this up to about 240 yards i'll be looking at trying to move the loft around about maybe to 16 or 15 degrees standard um, and then i'll be gapping the other ones to suit but the main thing is for me when it comes to five and seven i'm looking at these maybe to interchange with my three and four hybrid because again the height that i'm going to get from a five wood and seven wood beats my hybrid no different to a hybrid beats a flat faced long iron it's physics we can't get around it but they're doing really well obviously the five was going 222 39 yards in the air and 46 degrees ascent angle which is more than helpful and then 211 yards 40 yards in the air and 48 degrees ascent angle for the seven wood doing every single thing that i would like now 
these are done at my swing speed. So there is a point of where you look at swing speed, people should not be using three woods. I've done a video already, if I can remember, I'll stick it up on the card up there. There is a point where you should not be using three woods because if you start taking speed away, using things like five woods and seven woods is gonna give you more functional flight and actually gain you more carry. But again, if I remember, we'll pop it on there so you can have a little look. Um, let's go look at the clubhead data. We've got 103, 100 and, well, 104, 103, 102. Again, we're talking about slight differences in clubhead um, speed because of the shaft length, and, but it's fairly small when it comes to differences, but there is a difference there. Um, all the other numbers are relatively small and the uh, only slight difference I would say would be the five wood I hit slightly more healy, but again, we are talking a matter of six millimeters so not a lot so let's go have a look at how well it works from weird and wonderful spots because these are the max and when we have the max it's got to be the max forgiving and the max help and stuff like that so we'll go have a look at how well it does but first of all we need to know how well it works out of the screws and we've got one here two mil here one mil low uh, 103 miles an hour this is a, for the three wood uh, the face is open by a degree but again it's absolutely fine 230 yards of carry um, 1.42 efficiency. So 1.42 efficiency is not far off what a mediocre driver is. And this, remember, is a 17 degree lofted three wood. I'm delivering 21 degrees of loft. I have a tendency to deliver slightly more loft with my three wood because I'm basically trying to get the golf ball up in the air. It's doing exceptionally well out the middle for a 21 degree lofted head. If we go slightly healy, we are talking 10 mil heel, two mil low. So just, oh, half an inch or so gross off the middle 1.41 so we've moved about half an inch and we've lost 0 0.01 uh, well done <laughs> when it comes to this of course it's the max it's going to be the most forgiving and already we can see by half an inch it is if we go a little bit further well 20 mil now 20 mil heel three mil low so nearly an inch off the middle and it's a face 2.9 degrees open so whenever you deliver a face which is open you are going to get more deflection a less efficiency less smash factor depending on what launch might you use and we're at 1.37 so we've lost 0.05 from a nearly an inch away from the middle and a three degree open face let's go slightly low heel like the worst place on the golf club you can ever hit it low 16 mil and also heel 10 of them and we are 1.41 with a one degree open face like wow that cortex chamber that blue bit at the bottom with the missing piece as mizuno like to say really really works like i have not seen a three wood create that much ball speed from a 26 millimeters gross low heel strike i don't think ever and that in itself is just mental um we have launched lower yes we have and we have lost a little bit of carry. Obviously that's going in more like a rocket because of the 16 mil low, 10 mil heel strike. But the ball speed creation on it is just incredibly good. Like very, very good. Um, three mil heel, eight mil low. Just a standard normal low on the face. Nothing 16, nothing really bad. Uh, eight mil low, you can still definitely feel it, but a normal miss of what we call slightly thin. Not top, thin. 1.42. So we've lost um, carry that nothing. <laughs> Just doesn't. It, it is very very good this face. Um, two mil low, eleven mil toe. Let's shift it over towards the toe, and we are at one point four zero. So lost 0 0.02 from now half an inch gross off the middle, and then we'll move it to a twenty one millimeters. Uh, toe zero mil high and the face is 1.6 degrees open 1.32 finally we've found a place on this face that it doesn't like being hit now i'm having to hit it nearly an inch nearly an inch off the toe now the maxes are the biggest heads of the lot but remember guys these are not driver heads these are fairway wood heads so the heads aren't nowhere the faces aren't nowhere near as big and to hit something 21 millimeters horizontally across the face on a fairway wood, it has lost some, yes, it has lost some. I will say it's lost um, 0.1, as in 0.10 of them. And so it is quite a big loss, but it is nearly an inch off the toe. But if you take into a case of the normal toes, the low on the face, the extreme lows, the heels, the low heels, every other part of the face is just mentally good. I've just found a spot on the ST Max that if you hit it on a certain point, now this is the three wood. 
So of all the golf clubs, this is going to be the least forgiving just because of loft. If you do the exact same thing to a three wood, uh, for a five wood over a three wood, a five wood will be more forgiving. If you do the same thing on a seven wood over a five wood and def definitely over a three wood, the seven wood will absolutely be more forgiving just because of loft. And so out of all of these, the only part I can find on the ST Max which doesn't work as well as the rest of it is extreme toe shots. Everywhere else in the face, is blooming great. So if you, as long as you don't hit it from there, you're fine. So when it comes to conclusion, I would say uh, looks, if you're looking for more confidence inspiring looks, absolutely then we're looking at the Max because it is the biggest of the lot. It's not massively bigger than the Z, but it is still slightly bigger. And I would say the five wood is possibly the same size as the three wood uh, in the Z. When it comes to the feel, it feels exactly the same as the ZZ, wherever you are in the world. Um, there's no real differences between the two. I can't really hear or feel any differences in sound. When it comes to performance though, what I like about this, because of its spin profile, because of how it launches it, it, is, it dials it back slightly over the Z, Z, wherever you are in the world. Um, so for me, I'm looking for something to go in as steep as it possibly can do for control, then I will be potentially going to the max for that point alone. And when it comes to my fairway woods, if I'm going to make a mistake, generally speaking, it's the fairway woods or the longer shafts where I do make a mistake. I've got this little kind of weird thing where driver, I'm fairly well centered. On irons, I'm fairly well centered, but I've got that kind of weirdness when I go to a fairway wood or a hybrid that I have a bit of a weirdness of strike. It, it's not as tight as it is when it comes to my irons or my driver. I will potentially be looking at the max for its forgiveness points alone because on the performance side great on the forgiveness side wowzers the only exception is that extreme toe and i would say again if you're going to be hitting extreme toe or extreme anywhere on the face you really need to be looking at lessons rather than equipment to solve your woes but hope you like the video if you did thumbs up go on youtube like so do i down there is a subscribe button it's free it is great for the channel if you could subscribe so thank you and next to that is a bell icon that's a notification bell if you click that one that will notify you next time i upload another video hope you well we'll see you again soon